I'm Vanetta from The Handyman's Daughter, and this is week three of my bathroom remodel for the One Room Challenge. Last week, you saw me tear down all the old tile, which came up to about here on the wall. This week, I installed this gorgeous elongated subway tile all the way up to the ceiling. It's amazing how this new tile and wall color changes the entire space. Now, the bathroom feels so much bigger and brighter, and at just 55 cents a tile, it was right in my budget, too. Let's take a look at how I got to this point in the renovation. I started by cutting a dozen or so tiles in half for the bottom row. The blade will cut away about a sixteenth of an inch, so position the tile so it cuts beside the halfway point, not on it. Save the shorter pieces for the top of the wall. To avoid chip out at the end of the cut, I flipped the tile over halfway through and finished the cut from the other side. I tiled the wall in sections, working with the column three tiles across each time. The bottom row alternates between full and half tiles and sets the pattern for the rest of the column. Spread enough tile adhesive on the wall for the first row of tiles, then spread it with a quarter inch notch trowel. It's about the same width as three tiles across, so you can easily see if you need to add more. After placing the first three tiles, take the time to make sure they're level and straight. The spacers I used had three prongs and a little lip to help keep the tiles flat. Continue working your way up the wall, adding whole tiles in an alternating pattern. It's difficult to stop halfway through, so plan to complete a column before you call it quits for the day. If any tile adhesive squeezes out, use one of the spacers to scrape it off. It's easier to do this as you go, so take the time to clean up those grout lines as you work. Use the flat side of the trowel to clean up any excess adhesive. Trim the tile to fit around obstructions like outlets and pipes. Butter the back of the tile at narrow points like this, then press it into place. The next day was time for the grout. I went with a light gray grout that matches the wall color. Smush it into the cracks, then wipe away excess at an angle. Then clean the surface with a damp sponge to remove any residue. I just love how the tile turned out. The light gray grout gives just enough contrast and coordinates perfectly with the vanity mirror frame. I attached this new mirror to the old medicine cabinet and it fits perfectly. I'm so glad I was able to salvage this valuable storage space. By installing the tile vertically, it draws your eye up the wall and makes it feel taller. As you can see, I've been busy in here, but there's still plenty to do before I can wrap up this remodel. Next week, I'm tackling the floor. I fell in love with this beautiful cement tile with a bold geometric pattern, but it was way too expensive. Instead, I'm painting the old tile with a stencil in the exact same pattern for about 50 bucks. Tune in next week to see how it turns out. Be sure to check out my tutorial for more information about how I installed this vertical subway tile and follow along with the entire remodel on my website, thehandymansdaughter.com. See you soon!